Hey there guys, I'm on here from Voltec and welcome to the first episode of Adobe After Effects Tutorials and today we're gonna take a look at this really interesting shake and break effect so let's first have a look now let's get started so I'm gonna go over to the composition create it and maybe make it 720p and set the time to 10 seconds and first of all I'm gonna go to layer and create a new text layer then you can type in your text and let's type in tutorial yeah maybe uh, make it a little low and then yep. so I'm gonna duplicate this layer and then maybe rename it to break one and change the color to yellow to make it more visible okay so I'm gonna go to the effect down to simulation then CC pixel poly now it's really interesting effect like it creates something like this so it shatters into pieces now you can customize this effect if you increase the grid spacing the particle effect increases and if you want to create more depth and if you want to create something like sand or dust effect you can make me lower the grid into one it looks good so for this I'm gonna make it around 25 or maybe 16 uh, 16 yeah 16 looks good it's fine so maybe I'm gonna increase the force a little bit and maybe lower the gravity and to create now uh, effect uh, maybe crank a little bit force and yeah looks good so I'm gonna go select the layer and then I'm gonna go over to the mask and create a rectangular mask around it maybe a little bit around T then I'm gonna hit M and I'm going to duplicate the layer again so go to edit duplicate or you can use control D I'm gonna hit M, click the mask and move it a little bit forward. And I'm gonna repeat it, duplicate, click the mask and move it a little forward. Now you need to make sure that if you select the mask one, if you don't like if you don't select the mask, it will like move around with the cursor. So you need to make sure you select the mask one to move it forward so let's see what we have here now well it uh, looks pretty much similar to the default effect now we gonna move it a little for forward all these layers a little forward maybe around two seconds then I'm gonna offset the timing now let's take a look now you can see it's crumbling forward now we need to vanish this tutorial now we can do it two ways either you can go to transition and go to linear wipe and it will make this like this and you can keyframe this and move it but it's not really smooth so I'm gonna go forward with, with the mask so I'm gonna go to wheel like it started and then I'm gonna create a new mask and mask around a little bit and a little bit around T so it's barely visible I'm gonna hit M and click the stopwatch to create a keyframe and go to the end of the 
braking and move it all the way forward to the L and click inward so after, so you can see it's now vanishing with the crumble effect and yeah looks good but as you can see the movement is not really clear you can clearly see the line here so we're gonna make uh, move the keyframe a little bit forward to adjust it uh, yeah it looks good now but you can always adjust more but I'm gonna leave it like this yeah so I'm gonna go to the yeah I'm gonna leave it like this so I'm gonna go to layer I'm gonna go to layer and create a new adjustment layer then I'm going to effect stylize and down to blow to create a little bit of looks here now go to AB colors and make it a little bit bluish and crank up the radius a little bit and maybe intensity a little bit more so you can see this bluish glow around this text and thresh a little bit down uh, yeah now it looks good you can see that its glow crumbles apart with the text as well now I'm going to create this uh, now you can see we have a shake effect here over here now we're gonna create this shake effect here so I'm going to do a comp and then go to the beginning of the comp select the adjustment layer and go to distort and down to turbulent displays now triple in this place is really interesting effect so I'm gonna lower the amount to maybe 10 and size to 2 I lower the size to 2 then I'm gonna keyframe size and evolution and then I'm gonna move till the end of the breaking like here and then I'm gonna set the size to 100 and evolution to maybe 25 and you can see yeah it's shaking apart and breaking and yeah but it's shaking maybe a little too much for me so I'm gonna lower the amount to 7 uh, you know it looks good so I'm going to take a look at play it and take a look at it so that's it we have uh, this amazing break and shake effect so